Search WKYT Install and Enjoy. It's completely free. And has everything you need in one spot. Start streaming WKYT today. Watch WKYT on all your streaming devices. Now, WKYT News at 4. Former President Donald Trump taking a high-profile uh, trial in Manhattan break for a campaign stop in Lexington. We live at Bluegrass Airport awaiting the former president's arrival. Plus, summer break is drawing near for children all across Kentucky, which means that some students will be missing out on hot meals from the cafeteria. How school officials and other organizations are now working to make sure those children don't go hungry this summer. It is a slow moving low and it is spinning right on top of the bluegrass state bringing wet weather woes. We're tracking the uh, current rains and additional storms just ahead. This is WKYT News. Good afternoon. Welcome to WKYT News at 4. We're live on air and streaming in the WKYT News app. A gloomy day weather-wise in the bluegrass. Some cloudy skies, a few showers making their way through the area. And while we may get a little break from the rain soon this weekend, it's already looking wet. Let's check in now with WKYT Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey for your first alert forecast. Yeah, dealing with a lot of rain early this morning, guys, across especially the bluegrass region, parts of central Kentucky picking up on heavy amounts of rain. Take a look at the rainfall totals out on the west side of town. Lexington's Bluegrass Airport. We have picked up 1.96 inches of rain out on Versailles Road for the day. No other gauge in Fayette County has picked up nearly as much, but hey, the, the airport got under a uh, downpour 2-3 o'clock this morning and some additional downpours. Now, we're close to the wettest May 15th on record. That's 1.99 inches from back in 1983. Rainfall since yesterday, you see that pocket of heavy rain across parts of the Bluegrass region where into Woodford County, parts of Scott County, radar estimating better than three inches of rain in those areas. Uh, your tower cam as of now showing some overcast guys. You're out this evening, got a few more showers and a rumble of thunder coming in from north to south. Yeah, we've changed the direction around that low pressure that is spinning off to the east of us. Storm risk tomorrow, 55 in the morning, 75 to 80 coming up tomorrow afternoon. It looks good. It feels much, much better compared to what we have been dealing with out there today. First alert radar network. That span across northeastern Kentucky showers, a little rumble of thunder here in the northern parts of Scott County. And that is uh, diving toward the south on Interstate 75, Cynthiana into Carlisle, into Paris. We're getting it on some of those showers and eventually Georgetown, Frankfurt, Versailles. Low that is pinwheeling here just to the west of Ashland, scattering of showers, maybe a rumble of thunder across the south and southeast. But overall, guys, it is that same storm system we've been tracking now for several days. It is spinning away from us for a change. You get one really nice day and then another low takes its place. We're going to track that for the weekend in a few minutes. All right, see you very soon. Thank you. We have a lot of news for you this afternoon. Fayette County Superintendent Demetrius Liggins is responding to the death of a Henry Clay High School student. 17-year-old Emmanuel McCaudy died Friday after experiencing a medical crisis in the class. has been on supporting Emmanuel's family 